everyone, it's Allie and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a clothing mystery box, but this is from a company that I've never done before. So just a few weeks ago I did a video where I got a Stitch Fix box. It was the second time that I got Stitch Fix and although my experience was much better that second time than the first time I got a Stitch Fix box, I had asked you guys if you had any recommendations for some other companies that did the same types of things where they send you like five to 10 items, you decide what you wanna keep and then you send them back. But I specifically said if you knew of any that were a little bit cheaper, cause that's my big problem with Stitch Fix. Count how many times I said that, I'm so sorry. <laughs> But that's my big problem with them is that I feel like it's just too pricey. So hopefully this suggestion will help you out as well if you also love the idea of getting mystery boxes and subscription services without paying a ton of money. So one of my subscribers, Blessed GMP, shout out to you. She suggested the company We Blessings. She said everything is 40 to 60 percent off and you don't have to buy it all to get the discount. The prices are way cheaper than Stitch Fix. So I went on over to We Blessings website and immediately I liked the vibe a lot better. It's a much smaller company, but you can tell that the people who run it really care about giving all of their customers a really good experience. They asked me so many questions to really get a feel of what kind of pieces I would like to get. And maybe that's annoying to you. I probably spent like five total minutes, I think, filling out all the questions, but I didn't mind it. I thought it was a really cool touch that someone was reading these answers and really thinking about what pieces they thought that I would like. Another big benefit right off the bat for Wee Blessings over Stitch Fix without ever opening any packages from them is the fact that they give you 10 days to return the items that you got. Stitch Fix, on the other hand, only gives you three, but if we're really being picky, you can choose the date that Stitch Fix is dropped off at your house. So if you know you're gonna be out of town or something, you would obviously make sure Stitch Fix wasn't dropped off at your house. I couldn't do that with Wee Blessings. I couldn't pick the exact day, but I really like that they give you a pretty wide window because like, I think I've had this for almost a week. I just haven't had a chance to film this video. And I'm really grateful that I didn't have to like hurry up and get it done like I do with Stitch Fix. I'm not sure on the exact prices of the items I got yet. So we'll see as soon as I open it up in just a second, but it does seem like the prices of the items I'm gonna get here today are gonna be way cheaper than Stitch Fixes. And if you haven't yet, before I get into the bag that they sent me, please hit that subscribe button. I'm hoping to get to 500 subscribers pretty soon because I have a fun trio of videos planned for you guys and for me, honestly. And I'll also be doing a giveaway, which I'm really excited about. But okay, let's get into the bag. It is a pretty small bag. I believe that there are only five items in here. So we will just have to see what's inside. And I forgot to mention too, that I did have to pay $8 shipping for this bag. They don't consider that a styling fee. They have no styling fee, but then there was an $8 shipping. So it's almost as much as like ThreadUp's $10 styling fee, basically the same thing. And that $8 for shipping will not go towards any of the items that I keep. So that's kind of a stinky thing. I will say the bag is like nothing crazy. They just have have their logo on the front, but you know, not a big deal. And this is what it looks like on the inside. It's all wrapped up in tissue paper. So in the bag, they did give me the return envelope all paid for. So all I have to do with the items that I don't want to keep is stick it in here and then put it in the mailbox. No big deal. They also gave me a handwritten note, which you definitely don't receive from a larger company. And they said, Allison, we are so excited to welcome you to our family. We hope that you love the items that your stylist has selected just for you. We can't wait to hear what you think. Let the fashion show begin. Blessings, Alicia Whirl. Thanks, Alicia. I think she's the CEO, so that's pretty impressive. That just shows that they are a smaller company, which I don't mind working with at all. They also gave me this envelope that says checkout form. Okay, so this is basically just telling you the process of the checkout, which is nice because sometimes it can be confusing, but they say take 10 full days. I actually will check out on their website and that I'll just be charged for the items I keep. So very nice. So they did give me an invoice. I don't want to look at the descriptions of the items. I want to be surprised, but it looks like the prices range from $11 to $23. So definitely a lot better than Stitch Fix, but the estimated retail is also a little bit lower as well. That ranges from $19 to $47. But I appreciate that because I'm not really looking for any formal expensive pieces right now. I'll just have to see if there's anything that I wanna keep. Hopefully at least one because I really appreciate this service. I will also mention that this is a Christian company. So whether that makes you wanna support them or not support them, that's just something to note as well. But okay, let's open up the stuff. 
All right, so the first thing is something that really caught my eye already. I'm really going full pink right here, right? I said I like pink on their site. But this dress is from Bebop. It has really pretty floral detail. It has the nice v-neck, which I prefer. It's a great length. It has a lot of flowy, girly details on it. I think this is really cute, so I'm excited to try this on. And this is the most expensive thing in the box. I would be paying $23 for this, but retail price is $47. Okay, next we have another pink item. Guys, I did not open this. I didn't know it was gonna be pink. I just really went for the pink today. We'll see if everything's pink. But this is a workout tank, very cute. It's from the brand Zelos. It's like really nice and oversized, which is funny because like I did not put that I was a small on there, but obviously like someone looked at this and said, that looks more like a medium. So I'm kind of glad that they gave me a small. I would pay $16 if I kept this and the retail price is 30. So about 50% off, not bad. Next, I've got another Bebop piece. This is kind of fun. It's like blue camo-ish, but it's a dress and it has like the nice layered skirt. I think this is really cute. I have actually been thinking I need some more like casual dresses that I can wear just on like random weekdays and stuff because I really do like to wear dresses in the summer. So if this looks good on, I very well might keep it because this is like that perfect in the middle. You still look put together, but it's really comfy and casual. So that dress would be $21 if I kept it and the retail price is 39. I guess they did say everything was 40 to 60% off retail, so. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> Next, we've got something very interesting. I don't know how I feel about this one. I don't know, this could be really cool on. But it is a dress, but it has like an interesting back. You'll see in the try-on. But it is a really cool yellow print with the black collar. And I definitely don't have anything like this. This is from the brand Angie, which I do like the brand Angie. I think they have some really cool stuff. But you can see this is the back. Yeah, I'll be interested to see what this looks like on. So this is a big maybe for me. But that dress would only be $15 if I kept it and the retail price is 30. And last but not least, we have a Gap shirt. Nothing too crazy, just a V-neck Gap shirt, but I do like the colors of it. Very pretty greens and it is always nice to have like these more basic shirts for sure. That Gap shirt would be $11 if I kept it and the retail price is $19.99. So unlike Stitch Fix 2, I would not get a discount if I kept everything. It's more like thread ups where you just pay for what you keep. But I will note too that it does say that they offer no interest payment plans if you need them. All right guys, so I just finished trying everything on and I'm a little bit disappointed not with the product so much, but just how they looked on me. Especially that pink dress. I didn't realize that it's the kind that cinches in at your waist, but then also like beneath your butt, which I feel like is only flattering if you are pretty slender person. And I'm pretty curvy on the bottom, so just like not flattering on me. That yellow dress was not it. It just wasn't for me. I didn't like the cutout in the back. But this isn't anything against the company because I asked for pieces that were unique and they definitely sent them to me. The camo dress I thought was really cute, but it was a bit shorter than I would have wanted to wear like casually. And I probably would have wanted to go up a size in that one anyway. The gap top was a gap top. I can find a lot of things like that in the thrift store. So it's just hard for me to convince myself to pay like $11 for that. But I am gonna keep this athletic top because it's really, really comfy. And I know I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it. That is going to be the keep of the day. I wasn't expecting that one, but that's just the way it worked out. So that was my first Wee Blessings little mystery box. I think it was really fun. Like I said, I love the idea that it's a smaller company. I can really tell that they put a lot of thought into the packaging, into the notes, into what they chose for me. I like that. I like supporting small companies when I can. I know that in the future, I will be much more likely to actually get another one of these rather than like a Stitch Fix box. One, because the prices are a lot cheaper, but I also just like to support the little guys. And if you also like to support the little guys, be sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and let me know what you thought of this company have you ordered from them before what was your experience like do you think it's worth it all of that kind of stuff go ahead and leave me a comment down below and of course if you know of any other smaller companies like this i would love to hear about them but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you soon bye